Good morning guys, so we're going to Hobbiton today. We're just sitting here waiting for our bus. Now this is where the first location scout was spotted looking over the property. He came down off his perch, he approached Ian and said, Ian, I'd like to look over your farm. Ian said, yep, you sure can, but you'll be going by yourself because the rugby's on. And by the way, you better shut all the gates because I do not want my sheep getting mixed up. Now you're going to get your first glimpse of Hobbiton if you look to your right. You will see the old mill house, the stone double arch bridge. Now you will be walking across this. This is the bridge that Gandalf trotted across on his horse and cart. And then you see there the famous Green Dragon Inn.
just finished the tour and we're back in Matamata, exactly where we started. Now, it was an absolutely awesome day out. The weather was great and we have a great time and it's we would definitely recommend mm. that you come here, especially if you're a Lord of the Rings or a Hobbit fan and you've seen the movies and you've read the books. It's absolutely yeah. amazing. The set is incredible uh, and if you know anything about how they built it and uh, how it came to be, you know, uh, it's just definitely worth it uh, that they take you through, you know, the, 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 they take you through the, the whole set um, and like, you see random things and, and they tell you so the stuff about the production which because I've, I've watched the um, how, uh, they made series. How, how they made series I already knew uh, but it was interesting nonetheless so if you are planning to come here then the only tour company that you should go with is uh, Hobbiton Tours these are the only people who are actually allowed onto the Hobbiton set and it's run by the family who own the farm where the Hobbiton set yeah. is built. Because it, it, it's private land. It's private land. There's no way for you to just sneak on without paying for a tour or anything. Trust me, we looked. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can't drive. You, you, can't, you can't like drive your own car onto the set. Uh, like, it has to be one of those buses. If you're really rich, you can get a helicopter, apparently, but... Yeah, that too. So, the cost of the tour from Matamata with Hobbiton Tours is $79 a person. That's basically a return trip to the eyesight, and you get a tour included in that. But you can get it booked from other cities, like Auckland, uh, Rotorua and such. These will obviously be more expensive. Now, if you book through a third-party company that aren't Hobbiton Tours, then this $79 per person can jump to two, three hundred dollars a person, because basically that tour company has to pay Hobbiton Tours a fee to be able to drive onto the set and obviously give a tour as well. So the actual tour, uh, the basic uh, uh, by Hobbiton Tours, uh, includes basically a full tour of uh, the Hobbiton set. You see everything, uh, and then uh, obviously you get the commentary of the of the guide who. And the, the guides are usually uh, people who have worked on the set or on the production, which obviously means that they know their stuff. Mm. Um, and then uh, when you get to the Green Dragon, uh, which is the pub that you see in the movies, uh, you, you get a free beer, basically. Or ale or something or like that. Whatever, yeah. So overall, we spent probably just over three hours, so give yourself three to four hours to do the entire tour. And have you ever been to Hobbiton? What was your experience and did you enjoy it? Do you have any uh, other recommendations uh, or any other companies that you think actually a third party might be better, even though we think it's definitely more expensive? Uh, so leave some comments that down below. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye.